welcome back to another tutorial and in this video you're gonna learn how to create a vintage look in Premiere Pro. So here we are in Premiere Pro. Now the footage I'm going to be using is of course of London Tower Bridge, the same one you saw at the start. And then here I have some audio which is vintage music and here I have the overlay which we're going to be adding towards the end. Now this is personal preference, you don't have to do this. When I add effects in Premiere Pro I don't add it directly onto the video. I always right click here, new item and select adjustment layer and select OK and I drag this above our video. And this adjustment layer is where I always drag on all of the effects. Now you don't have to, it's optional, but this is just how I prefer it. So starting off, we're going to head over to the effects tab here. And from there, we're going to come to Lumetri presets. We're going to come to cinematic. From cinematic, we're going to select Sin space 50 faded film. Now drag and drop this on your adjustment layer, or of course, directly on your track. Me on my adjustment layer. Yes, this is what will happen. Don't worry, we're going to make everything look a lot better. So the first thing we're going to do is come to basic correction. Now come down a bit and you'll see it shows tone. Now what we're going to be doing is bringing down the whites and the blacks. So I'm going to bring down the whites and I'm going to bring down the blacks. From there, I can minimize out of these two. We're then going to bring up the exposure slightly, not too much. And we're also going to bring up the highlights and contrast. So this is the contrast and this is the highlights. So you can minimize out of basic correction. We're then going to head over to vignette. And from here where it says amount, this is where you decide. Now, if you go to the plus, you can see we get a white vignette. However, if you want a black one, then go into the minuses like so. Now you choose how much you want it. There's no actually a correct amount, but I'm gonna stay around here, which is minus 1.3. I'm then gonna to come to the midpoint and I'm also gonna bring this down a bit. So then you can see the vignette comes in closer and that's how I'll keep mine. So you can minimize out of vignette as well. We're then gonna head up to creative. Now from creative, where the faded film is, we're gonna bring this down quite a lot. You can minimize this and where the vibrance is, we can bring this up a bit more. And then also from here where it says saturation, we're going to bring this down a little bit. Almost like the video is losing color and that is what we want. Again, minimize saturation. We're done with this part right here. Now it is time to add on this overlay with all the scratches. Now we're not done with all the f effects yet because of course it doesn't look very old. We will be getting onto that. So we're going to add on the overlay. Now download links to this will be in the description. I actually found this on YouTube. You can see this is how it looks. I'm just going to simply slice it right here and line everything up. And there's also some audio with it, which is pretty good if you're going to have audio in your video because it's crackling sounds. And you can see it doesn't fit on screen, so just right click the video and select set to frame size. And just like that, it's in correct position. Now select the overlay, come up to effect controls, from there come to opacity, change the blend mode to multiply. You can see it's made the video darker, we now have this stuff on the screen. Also the opacity, just bring it down a touch. This was uh, with the scratches and this is without it so you can see it makes a big difference and if i play it through it's how it currently looks so let's get on to the final thing and you're going to select your adjustment layer again and we're going to come up to window we're going to select lumetri color so we're going to be doing a bit more editing to the video to make it look overall better so under creative we're going to bring up the intensity a bit the faded film we can bring up a little bit more the vibrance we can bring up a tiny bit and then with the shadow and highlight tints, the shadow we're going to head towards more of a yellow. For the highlight tints, we're heading more towards an orangey yellow. Just a little bit like this. Saturation we can bring down just a little bit like this. And now this is everything completed. So we have that yellow look to the video. It looks pretty old. You know, the old cameras couldn't really pick up shadows well. So it was literally just blacked out, giving us a realistic effect. But that is it completed. That is how you create a vintage film look in Premiere Pro. Vintage. 